Hey everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, and uh, I am once again inspired here at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. A big shout out to my wife, Lizzie V, who uh, allowed me to do this. Not only that, kind of pushed me to do it. Uh, she believed in this thought, and I thought it was exciting. I just Twittered something out, and that's where I'm going with this, which is the big debate that I'm willing to raise right now, and I'm asking a lot of people, which is that, is Twitter quickly stealing an enormous amount of Facebook, and at the end of the day, a better and bigger app, something that people would find preposterous, is now starting to look very real to me. The quickness of Twitter is such a factor. The instant gratification, the world is moving so quickly that the fact that we can get that response so quickly, look, look, AOL, instant messenger, still around and strong, right? So is Twitter taking a lot from Facebook? I noticed a lot of people, I kind of asked, you know, is that the case for you? And a lot of people saying, yes, a lot. Now, why is this? Now, some people are saying, you know, no zombie invites and all the distracting situations. A lot of people saying Facebook seems real slow to them right now. Now, before you get completely ridiculous and before I make this preposterous statement, let's be honest. Facebook has feeds, right? They've got a lot of money, right? They've got obnoxious talent. Big shout out to Dave Morin. Um, follow him at, at Dave Morin on Twitter. Um, they need to figure out how to make their feed me mechanism uh, a Twitter clone. You know, like flat out. They need to figure out how to make their feed situation a subset of Facebook, something that's quicker, better, more instantaneous, and we need to be adding each other on Facebook, or I think Twitter and things like Twitter are really going to start taking more and more and more of the market share as mobile becomes far more important. Simplicity is going to be important, and I think the simplicity of Twitter's mobile application is, is dominant. Uh, I don't know. This is really, you know, it just kind of hit me as I was dealing with it. Um, once you get on that speed of what Twitter does, and that allows you to interact quickly and more efficiently, and that's really what we want. I mean, we love to play Scrabble, and there's a lot of things we like to do, and there's definitely that place to go. But that's kind of like going on vacation. Do you understand what I'm saying? We spend a little bit more money on our house than we do on our vacations. So... It's just an amazing time where things seem and can come from anywhere. And I know there's, we're off the big high of South By and Twitter always gets a big push from there. But I think as Twitter starts getting into mainstream world, because don't get it twisted, nobody knows what Twitter is. We do. You're watching right now. You do. But most people don't. As it starts seeping into mainstream, uh, I think we're going to see a real opportunity for this app to have far more potential. Big ups to Ev. I mean, him and his crew, those guys are killing it every time, it feels like. Even Odeo, what they sold it for. Come on, let's be honest. They killed it. So, my question that I'm asking you tonight is, is Twitter or something like Twitter over the next five or ten years, and that's being ridiculous, over the next 24 or 36 months, uh, have more upside? And more importantly, are you like me and you fully expect Facebook to adjust to this changing scenario, because it's always changing, changing scenario and adjusting their feed mechanism to look and act and feel a lot more like the Twitter experience? See you later. I'm going to kick you some more knowledge. This GaryVaynerchuk.com stuff, we're just not going to quit. Uh-uh, like P. Diddy and uh, Biggie. We're not quitting. Uh-uh.